Men are the easiest thing in the entire world. If you are wondering how you and another woman got the same man, it is because men are the easiest thing in the entire world. I have never wanted a man and not gotten him. Do you have any idea how many men have wanted me and not gotten me? Granted, granted, some dusties have caught me slipping, but there has never been a single man that I have wanted that I have not gotten because men Let's go through this step by step. How did a girl who was brought by her parents to the United States from Lebanon, your home country, schooled in the United States, clearly smart, went to university in Texas, read history, how did you get involved? Uh, I struggled my entire childhood with weight and I never felt attractive or worthy of male attention. And suddenly my first year of college I start losing all this weight from making small changes. And once I did that, I started garnering all of this attention from men and I was never used to it. And I felt like unless I held on to it and kind of did what was asked of me or what was expected of me, it would go away. And after feeling what it was like, that validation and you know the compliments for the first time, I did not want that to go away. Mm. Do you think there is some sort of Wow. post-traumatic stress that is in you from this experience. Yes, and uh, I think it kicks in mostly when I go out in public because the stares I get, I feel like people can see through my clothes and it brings me deep shame. It, it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like uh, I lost all right to my privacy, which I did because I'm one Google search away. Yeah. If you tattoo your face, you're gonna face Societal repercussions. We all know this. This is not new news. But to not consider with the same degree of logic as face tattoos to me is ludicrous. But what she talks about here shows the power of social validation and affirmation. It's literally a drug for the modern woman today, worse than heroin, crack, perks combined. It's almost as if validation today is the modern woman's god. And it starts from the like button, to DMs, to looking at all of your other friends and how they're demonstrating themselves on social media, to then posting your own hindquarters to social media, to OnlyFans, and then eventually, might get to I actually found an article, and I'll link it down below for you guys to review, but in it, it said researchers found that 29% of girls who spent more than three hours a day on social media engaged in self-harm. And 31% of girls who spent five or more hours per day on social media were clinically depressed. Among girls who spent two hours per day on social media, 19% experienced self-harm, while 20% experienced depression. Rappers be talking about, I got your bitch. Instagram got your bitch. Mm -hmm. Instagram got your bitch. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I know my Christian scorecard just went down for using a profane, a profane piece of language. Uh, you ain't got your Instagram got all y'all because they're going to do it for the gram before they do it to you. They're going to send mm -hmm. a picture to the gram before they send it to you. Social media doing more to hurt families than it is to help families and families are the key to health. Listen, as men, we can't live our lives like this. We have to have clear purpose and clear intention. You must strategize your life. This ain't for the short term. This is the long game. Okay, if you engage in criminal acts and or activity, do not be surprised if you end up in the penitentiary. I want to talk about your relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, and it's Robert, right? Yeah. How does Robert, this is kind of two prongs. How does he prop you up? And it's, how, how does he bring you down to earth? Um, we have actually been having trouble finding that balance because uh, recently, it's been a little hard for him to reconcile my past, and that has caused some issues in the relationship. And we're working through it and trying to communicate and trying to um, just ease any discomfort or, you know, any 
it's really it's really hard. He he has never been used to this many eyes and this many voices, and it it got to him a little bit, and it's been really hard for us to get through. But we're working on it. So the whole propping up and bringing back down to earth. There's a little bit too much bringing, bringing down to earth right now and not enough propping up. And we're just trying to find that balance. For those that don't know, she actually got married. And my guess is, is that a large component of what she's trying to describe right here is what inevitably led to the divorce. Truth be told, if she really wanted a different life, even though she found a simp sucker to marry her, irrespective of the volumes of tapes that she had up on the internet and the volumes of controversies that she's been involved in. She could have, she could have changed her name. She could have changed her hair. No one would have recognized her. She could have lived a happily ever after life. But what belongs in the streets shall always return. We're sitting here and obviously there is an event in your life that happened that I'm sure you're tired of talking about um, and it has definitely affected your life and and everyone listening, you may or may not know about that event. We're not here to talk about the event. I almost want to start now like after this big event, after this, this scene goes viral. Who was that girl the minute that goes viral and like from then to now? Because last night you were saying you're the happiest you've been in your life to have the most isolating feeling like you're alone you have people sending you death threats you have your family at the time not supporting you damn where like where was your head at and like how did you get here today you know what i'm saying like a lot of people wouldn't have been able to get through that mentally and and your mental health i'm wondering like where were you mentally post that video so for those unaware mia khalifa did a video a few years ago it was a in full hijab and got death threats from Muslims all over the world. It's crazy. Oh, I don't know where I was because that is around the time that I started dissociating God. and just compartmentalizing everything and pretending like things what? never happened to the point where I didn't even talk about <laughs> for the first like three years after. I just went quiet, never spoke about it. Anytime I would do an interview, yeah, because they were one serious. Thing they were not allowed to ask me about. I refused to even acknowledge that I did it, and they don't play it that. Until therapy, that I realized how detrimental that is. I can't just scooch things under the rug and hope that they go away. That's not how it works. You have right. to face them head on and acknowledge them and talk about them. It's it's that feeling of like. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to bring attention to it, but I right. need to talk about it because I need to explain myself because everyone is just misinterpreting the whole thing. Right. So it's that catch 22 of not wanting to bring it up and needing to bring it up because it's the, it's like the elephant in the room everywhere you go. What were you doing? How do you misinterpret that level and degree of disrespect from a cultural perspective or religious perspective? What? in your life post that video like where did you go like what were you doing how were you making money i was working as a paralegal at a law firm and then i was working as a bookkeeper at a construction firm and then i was like okay i'm tired of living in this 500 hundred dollar a month efficiency it was disgusting it was so bad it, cockroach infested it was the worst times of my entire life and you were not ma really making money no no, and that that was like such a like such a topic on the internet of like how is yeah. this girl lying about how much money she was making which i know you were vocal about how you basically didn't make any money from this the videos that you made and then they ended up making so much money and like whatever that topic was i'm sure hard for you because then you're living and slumming it yeah in a place that you're like everyone thinks i've made it like i'm yeah. not i don't have shit to I my have, name like, two right million now followers on instagram everyone thinks i'm living it up like that is not the case and you had lost your instagram i did yeah <sighs> Imagine doing all of this, disrespecting your family, engaging in an activity to lose all of your dating options into the future, receiving death threats for zero pennies on the dollar. You've blackballed yourself from having a normal life. It and got when, hacked. When it got hacked. And then I, I, didn't, I didn't create one for like a year, and then I created one in 2016 when I decided to move to Austin. Why did you decide to come back to social media? Because I knew at that point there is no turning back. Everyone knows who I am. Right. I can't work anywhere. That's why I left the law firm job. It was very uncomfortable for me to work there. Well, actually, the company dissolved, but I was very uncomfortable working Can there. Can you explain that experience? Yeah, it's very weird to go into a job interview thinking, oh, I'm just going to go back to normal life and having the interviewer ask you if 
if you if you did right there is nothing oh do you think they're asking you that because they knew yes yeah they got recognized it. me yeah. and i went to a couple interviews where some comments were made and then i finally got a job at the law firm and yeah then i got a job working for a friend's company at the construction firm and then i just realized i you feel uncomfortable i feel uncomfortable everywhere i go like i i can't be sent into the field they have to be careful about who they let in the office because some subcontractors are creepy like right. i started to feel like a burden on the person who was taking a chance on me and giving me a job. It's incredible for me to think that you expected a normal life after you wore a hijab while getting You should be grateful that you even had the opportunity to interview to jobs like that. And it's incredible how oblivious that she's acting as if after going viral that she expected the same treatment out into the public. Talk about when you regret selling yourself. Wow. To say you felt like a burden to the people that were giving you a job. Yeah. You are an educated, smart woman who deserves to be at that job. You made a decision in your life that a lot of women make. I've made a no, they don't. With a boyfriend and maybe it didn't happen to go viral, but there was a chance people's nudes get released. People decide to do back to the point of you being Pender. paralegal. The fact that you were a paralegal, Mia, like you're... I didn't say I was a good one. No, I <laughs> I know you were a good one. No, but no. I can tell you're a smart, educated woman. So like, I the, that was the first thing when I sat down with you last night. I was like, this girl's f***ing smart. And the same way about you. So, but it's it's crazy to then... Being a smart, educated woman doesn't make you a hard worker. She even told you that she wasn't good at it. But, you know, the pander knows no bounds. Think that you had to feel you couldn't fully get into a job and allow yourself to go full force at a job because you were being haunted by a decision you made in your past. Yeah. The moral of the story is, is that, yeah, you can get that fast money, right? Go ahead. Do your OnlyFans, right? Do your <laughs> right? But are you prepared to live a life of permanent reputational damage, a life where your family may no longer support you, a life where you walk out into the street and you feel as though people can see you naked. I mean, she even said it like at this point, it's damn near impossible for her to even get a job, a normal job because of her face, name, as well as her insides reputation. All while cutting potential dating options, but it's just so short sighted to me to not think that it would not. Like, why would a man want to continue to build with you into the long term? If that has been your past, if you're adult enough to act in an adult movie, then you're adult enough to face the repercussions. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tours and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, did you enjoy today's clips? Leave it down for me in the comment box down below. Would you agree with, would you don't agree with? Make sure you put a timestamp at a particular portion of the video so I know exactly what it is that you are speaking about. Until next time, YouTube.